morning, guys. Grandpa Wild just wrote um, a text message. He said that there's a gator out, a really big one. And um, it's heading our way. So I'm gonna see if I can't go out there and meet him and see if I can get a glimpse of him. All right, I'm gonna be quiet now. I think we're getting close to where the gator's at. Wow, the water is so clear this morning. I can actually see what's down here. It's actually, I think it makes it a little bit more eerie. If there's a gator down there, I could see him. But um, nothing so far. So I'm gonna keep going over into um, Grandma Grandpa Wild's bayou. Maybe he turned back in there. We've been after this alligator for a long time, trying to find the nesting grounds of the alligator. So I'm gonna come around this bend, and we have to be quiet, man. These alligators are pretty, pretty skittish. They see us coming and they dive down in the water. So we're gonna go nice and quiet. Hopefully we don't spook them too much. We'd love to get up close and get some good footage of them. Stop, stop. When we rounded the corner, we saw the gator just about 10 feet from where we're at right now. And um, he just was swimming super slowly. You could only see about two inches of him poking out of the water. And he kind of turned his head and saw us, and then he just, boom, was gone in about two seconds. If we can kind of scare him towards the back of the bayou, hopefully he shoots straight to his nest, and we can finally find the nesting place of the alligators. Kean's out here somewhere by himself. Man, we're in Sailboat Bayou, and Kean is nowhere to be seen, so I don't know where he went. Wonder what? what he saw or where he's at right now because you'd think that he'd come and investigate this bayou first. Good morning. How does it come back, Grandpa? Out that way? It was on the other side of the bayou. Sailboat? Yeah. Okay, I'll go check over there next. Well, so far there's no sign of the gator, but there's this beautiful jellyfish right here floating on the bayou. bit cautious on how far we go back to the end of this bayou because it is a dead end and what you don't want to do is put an alligator in a position where he has to choose over flight or fight. Our canoe is not very big and he's a big alligator so if we were to corner him and he felt defensive and I just wouldn't want to be attacked by an alligator. Oh there he is. Hey Kian. Hey, Kian. <laughs> I feel like we've been searching for the gator and where it goes for the longest time. But now, here it is. We found it and there's skin marks that it looks like could have been made from the gator that went up here. We just have to be super careful because this is a big gator and it is kind of cornered right here. So I'm actually I'm gonna move back a little bit and give it some, some leeway in case he wants to shoot through here. All right, the boys were too chicken to come with us, so now it's just Hudson and I. No. No, I'm yeah. kidding, they're right back there. Um, well, we didn't want all three of us in the canoe because just a little bit too heavy. And um, we also didn't want the person in the front, Morgan, being too close to the alligator if and when we do come across him. Yeah, I'm hoping that I have the strength to run from him if I need to. I'm just not recovering from a flu that I got, so I'm still a little weak and all that. But um, yeah, this is perfect. This is just what I need to get me going again, to get me completely healed as a little adventure on the bayou. Can you see right in there? Alligators are notorious ambush predators. And this guy was huge. He's probably good, I don't know, I'd say nine feet. He could cause some damage, so we want to be super respectful. You always want to make sure that you're cautious, you're respectful around big animals like this. Yeah, in the case that the alligator is here, we're prepared that the canoe isn't overloaded with people. So I'm right here with Kian. We're stationed at the strip that goes in, and it's shallow water here. Turn him back. There's so many little places for the alligators to like cruise up in these reeds. So he might be long gone. 
Okay guys, I think this alligator outsmarted us. Yeah. Foiled again. I think he outsmarted us. He submerged, turned around, went back out to deeper water. I'd say that we have a pretty unique schooling experience, not totally conventional. And all four of us, we're all doing our schooling right now, currently, for college degrees and my master's, all online, from the comfort of our own homes, and for us, right here on the Bayou. So I'm officially a boys student now, same as my brothers, and um, it's really exciting. I, I finished high school this last year, and so all of us boys are now done with high school, which is great. Problems with online college are probably being able to like actually take the time to focus even though you're in your own home. If there's an alligator, what are you gonna do? You gotta drop what you're doing to go check it out. I've been doing online school for a long time now. It seems like forever. Yet with online schooling, you're, you're still immersed in a life environment. Whereas if you're on campus, you're immersed in like an academic environment. So for me, there's all kinds of things that pop up that take priority over school I have to accomplish first. So it seems like no matter how hard I try, uh, it's always like down to the last day where there's an assignment due, I have to wrap it up and submit it. Man, I'm up late at night, like 10 minutes to go and I get my assignment off, ding. So rewarding. It's like we have a whole week to get our assignments done, but my life is so busy, especially now with this baby on the way, it's like there are just so many things to do. And so I find myself, you know, late at night, last minute, you know, submitting a paper. I've had a lot of close calls, I'll just say that. The one thing about online college is there's tons of reading. That's like the main way that you get your knowledge. You read a book and then you write a paper on it. You read a book and you do a discussion board on it. You read a book and then you talk about it with the professor over Zoom. So thankfully I love to read, but this has definitely like pushed me to the max. Yeah, so far I've been able to pretty much get everything done on time. There was this one time where I had to reach out to my professor. <laughs> but um, he was pretty chill about it, so it was good. In our culture here, I think a lot of people, they go through the, the pains and the toils of education, especially you know after high school, college degrees and master degrees, because that's how they're gonna build their career, that's how they're gonna make a lot of money. And for my brothers and I, it's always been our conviction that schooling should be preparation for a life of serving God. And so whether that's preparation for your career, you need to be thinking along the lines of, hey, how am I gonna use this degree to advance God's mission? How am I gonna use this degree to be poised in a place where I can further the Great Commission? For a lot of people, schooling is like, you know, it's, it's there so that they can get a good job, get a fat paycheck, retire early. That's why they work hard at school. And for us, it's always been, no, this is, this is preparation for life and preparation for ministry. And so that's, we take it seriously. And it's, it's a privilege. A lot of people don't have access to this kind of education. It's great to stretch our minds, you know? God gave us minds and brains to learn and to grow so that we might appreciate Him more. And so, so that's why we're doing our school. And we just feel so privileged that we get to do it from the comfort of our home right here on the bayou. Thanks for watching The Wild Way. If you enjoyed this video, like or subscribe. If you want to learn more about our patron team, head over to patreon.com slash wildbrothers. And if you want to learn more about our story and our history as missionaries over in Southeast Asia, head over to our website, wildbrothersproductions.com. Thanks, guys.